Rivera. I'm the present owner of the Casa de las Restaurant. My mother is the founder, and I've been running it since my mom's passing with my wife, my son, and the family. But I've been here over 40 years. Here at Casa de la, we're a small Puerto Rican establishment. We like the community hotspot where the majority of Puerto Ricans gather. This is where we entertain ideas. But in addition to that, we're here to serve food. What I believe that it makes a neighborhood a community is the business that surrounds us. And where you shop for many years, where your kids see you shop. We have the intentions to be here a long time. However, the changes in the neighborhood, in particular the rent changes, is what really hurting us. The rent has gotten so out of hand that some of us may not be able to make it. But we have the intentions. We want to be part of this neighborhood. It's going to be hard because the rent are not compatible with what we could afford to pay. But we want to be here. In order for us to be able to afford and to pay our rent, we're going to have to readjust our pricing. We're hoping that we find the, the, a balance home between where we could afford to pay the rent and not have to raise the prices so, so high. All the business in the neighborhood that have problems with high rent, unfortunately, they have to close doors. We were quite lucky that we got help on time and we were able to save Casa Adela. Cooper Square Committee, they help us quite a lot. We got help from the legal team. We got help from applying for some of the loans that were available at the time. If it wasn't for the help, maybe we would have been a different story to the outcome of what Casa de las Restaurant is. There's not going to be a community without regular small business. If we could afford to stay here, we would love to stay here and be part of the neighborhood in the next 20 years to come.